Hello, ladies, and welcome to Infos Women's Empowerment. I am MJ, and I am here to empower you spiritually. Yes, today is Empower Tuesday, and I want to talk to you about why does bad things happen to good women? Well, today I'm going to dive spiritually about why bad things may happen to good women. But you know, um, bad things happen to everybody. Good, bad, whoever. Who's good and who's bad? So let's dive deep in the word. Today is Empower Tuesday. I'm here to empower you. And let me know if this resonates with you. Leave it in the comments. And we want to know, you know, sometimes bad things happen to good women. Because sometimes we make decisions that are wasn't good. And sometimes we're just innocent. Something just bad happened. So let's see why. But, but we live in a world of pain and suffering. And there's no one who's not affected by the harsh realities of life, ladies. All of us, I wish that we could just take it away. But we can't. And the question is why? Why do bad things happen to good people? Right? Why? Well, that's one of the most difficult questions that most theologians and, you know, the pastors, prophets, everybody's trying to figure out why, 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 why? Well, God is sovereign. So all that happens must have at least been allowed by him. It may not be directly caused by him on the onset, but we got to acknowledge that human beings who are not external, we're not infinite, we're not omnipresent. We can't be exempt from all the things that's going to happen to us. We can't understand it. Only God, right? His purpose and his ways, everything is from him. Look, let's look at Job. And Job, and the issue was, he said, why does bad things happen? That was the question in that book, right? To good people in the world. But this world is not the end. No, ladies, is not. When you're serving God, don't lose hope. Though outwardly you feel like, you know, we're wasting away because of sin. Yes, we're getting older. Things will start to change in our bodies. But we know that we got to be renewed day by day spiritually. That's why I talk about being the superwoman, drawing power from him for our life. This monetary world for us is, is an external glory that far weighs them all. We're going to leave everything behind. So we got to work on our characters. That's what I'm talking about being the empowered woman holistically, physically, mentally, socially, spiritually, and financially. Yes, we got to work on it because all we're going to take at the end of the day is our character. So we got to fix our eyes on the things that what is seen, no. The things that we cannot see. Because the things that we see is all temporary. But what is unseen is external. Second Corinthians, ladies, 4, 16 to 18, we have a reward. Someday it will be glorious. I promise you. Bad things happen to good people, but God uses those bad things for an ultimate lasting good. We know that in all things, God works for the good of all those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. You got to read that in Romans 8, verse 28. And when Joseph was innocent, you know about Joseph in the Bible, or wrongdoing, finally he came through his horrific suffering. He suffered. And he was able to see God's plan in it all. See Genesis 50, 19 to 21. The bad things happen to good people, but those bad things equip believers for deeper ministry. Praise be to the Father of compassion and the God of our comfort, ladies, who comforts us in all troubles. We got to just give it to him. We got to give it to him. That's why I say get up, have your devotion, or just speak to him, cry out to him. And those who are in trouble with comfort, we ourselves receive comfort from God. Amen. For just as we share abundantly in the suffering of Christ, so also our comfort. Yes, he comforts us. He does. Through Christ, there is comfort, ladies. And those with battle scars can better help those going through the battle. So when you're going through something, it's not just for nothing. You're going to help somebody else 
Pull somebody else up. So don't keep it to yourself. You got to testify of how God brought you out so that someone else who's walking by you, who's in the store, who just happens to come into your presence, who looks downtrodden, who's sad, you can tell them how God brought you out. So you're not going through that alone for a reason. Bad things happen to good people and the worst things happen to the best person. Jesus was the only true righteous one, yes, yet he suffered more than we can imagine. And we follow in his footsteps. And if we suffer for doing good and you endure it, this is commendable. I know it's commendable before God. I know you're like, I don't want to suffer. I don't want to suffer. Who wants to suffer? Well, there's some people who don't mind suffering. It. I don't know. That's another story. We'll talk about that. The martyrs of the world today. To this You were called because Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin. No deceit was found in his mouth. When they hurled their insults at him, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he made no threats. Instead, he entrusted himself to who judges. Justly, there's going to be a judgment. 1 Peter 2, 20 verse 23. Jesus is no stranger to our pain. You got to read Romans 5 eight. He declares, but God demonstrates his own love for us. And this, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us, despite the sinful nature of the people of this world. God still loves us. Jesus loved us enough to die to take the penalty for our sins. Read Romans 6 verse 23. So if you receive Jesus as your Savior, John 3, 16, Romans 10, 9, we will be forgiven and promised an eternal home in heaven. Romans 8 verse 8. So God allows things to happen for a reason. I know it seems the the mind can't just comprehend it. Whether or not we understand this reason, we must remember, ladies, that God is good, just loving and merciful. Psalm 153 verse 3, often bad things happen to us that we simply cannot understand. Instead of doubting God's goodness, our reaction should be trust him. It's not easy. It's not easy if you lost everything. It's not easy if you lost a love. It's not easy if you lost a job. It's not easy if you're in a situation when you feel miserable, you're unhappy, but you got to trust him. You got to call on him for his power. He is going to come through. That's the ladies that talk about being the superwoman, the spiritual superwoman, because we got to spend time with him so that we could draw for power to get through this world. It's full of sin and problems, and we're going to have highs and lows and dips And without him, we're not going to make it. We're going to tank, ladies. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding and all your ways. Acknowledge him. He will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 5, verse 6. We walk by faith, not by sight. So ladies, 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 remember, God allowed bad things to happen to good people. Yes, he does. Whether it's for our good And now he's not allowing it uh, to crush us. Yet he suffered in the ways that are almost beyond our beliefs. Jesus did. God allowed Satan to do everything he wanted to Job except kill him. Has Satan considered you? Are you going through it? Is there a reason? Is he trying to squeeze something out of you to get you to a better place? We don't know. We don't know. That's why we got to spend time with him and ask him, Lord, why am I going through this? What is the purpose of this? Why has Satan considered me? Does he think that I'm going to curse you because I'm blessed? And he say, oh, you're, she's just blessed with all these things. And if you if you just take all that away from her, she's, he, she's going to curse you, God. She's going to leave your side. We don't know. But if we spend time with him, I'm sure by and by you're going to figure out why you were going through this and why you are going through this. And Satan did the worst he did to Job. What was Job's reaction, ladies? Though you slay me, yet I will hope in him. Job 13, verse 15, the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. And may the name of the Lord be praised. Lord, help us to get to that point. Job 1, 21, Job did not understand why God had allowed these things to happen. He did, but he knew God was good. Therefore, continue to trust in him. Ultimately, that should be our reaction as well. It's not easy, ladies. But with God, when we call on him, he's going to help us. 
Why do bad things happen to good women? As hard as it is to acknowledge, we must remember that there are no good people in this world. Absolutely no sense of the word. All of us are tainted and affected by sin. Just look around. Look around, look. Look around, ladies. Look, look. We got things going on that we need help with. Some of us are getting there. Don't listen to anybody that said, I'm all perfect. I got it going on. You'll still find out that something is going on with them. So you're not in it alone. Ecclesiastes 6, 7, verse 20. Romans 3, verse 23. 1 John, verse 8. As Jesus said, no one is good except God alone. Luke 18, 19. All of us feel the effects of sin. None of us are exempt. None of us. Don't think that you're going through it alone. We are in this together. Sometimes it's our own personal sin, yes. Other times it's the sins of others, yes. So we live in a fallen world and we experience the effects of the fall. One of these effects is injustice and seemingly senseless suffering. When wondering why God would allow bad things to happen to good people, it is all so to consider good, to consider the four things. Bad things happen. Yes, it does. So, ladies, I want to leave you with that. To piggyback on the four things that I mentioned. You're not in alone. It's you're not. We're all going through it together. So I said we need a movement of support system here on the Empowered Movement Spiritual Tuesdays. I'm going to be here to empower you, to empower me as we go through this journey called life. Very challenging. But it's doable with God. All things are doable. Ladies, have a blessed day. I am MJ.